It all began with the Anglo-Saxon people. England had been under Roman control for centuries, but was freed from its grip by the early 400s. The constant attacks by the Picts, the Irish, and the native Britons made sure of that. As the Romans withdrew, the Britons re-established in the western parts of England. The Anglo-Saxons drove away or possibly absorbed the original Romanized Britons, thus creating the five kingdoms of Northumbria, Mercia, Kent, East Anglia, Essex, Sussex, and Wessex. The language we call English is a mix of many languages. Even the original Anglo-Saxon, one of English's main roots, is a blend of dialects from Germanic tribes living along the North Sea coast. The Saxons in Germany and Eastern Holland, the Jews from Denmark, and the Angles living along the coast of Denmark and Holland. It's also likely that there were Frisians and Franks along with the invaders. The dialects were all similar enough for each to understand the other. The Vikings came to England coming from Denmark and settled in with the Anglo-Saxons from Yorkshire to Norfolk, an area that became known as the Danelaw. Others from Norway ruled from Strathclyde to the north of Wales. The Norse language they spoke resembled the Anglo-Saxon in many ways, but was different enough for two things to happen. There are many old Norse words that entered in, into English, such as they and them. The complex conjugations and declensions began to wither away as people disagreed about which to use. William the Conqueror and his Norman supporters invaded England in 1066. Although, as their name suggests, they were the descendants of the same Northmen that invaded England earlier. They had been settled long enough in Normandy in the north of France to adopt the dialect of French. They brought this Norman French with them to England and kept it as the language of their newly imposed aristocracy. In the day-to-day -day need to communicate, the common language became the English, but with a large number of French words. English since has been absorbing vocabulary from many different sources, French, Latin, which was used in church, and Greek, which was mainly used in science.